Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, we'll show you how to look uh, and uh, visually examine your data and to check whether your data are uh, skewed or not. And uh, to do that, we have two different methods, either through plotting chart or through getting uh, a value for skewness, skewness, a calculated value through SPSS. There are several ways and methods to uh, explore and examine and scrutinize your data by plotting a histogram and looking at the distribution of your data or plotting a QQ normality quartile plot or drawing a box plot uh, diagram that will show you whether the, your data are normally distributed or not and uh, uh, the other the other um, way is to uh, uh, do it through SPSS and SPSS will generate a, a skewness value and from that skewness value you can determine whether the data are um, normally distributed or not or the data are skewed. Right, here I have three different groups, group A, group B and group C. And I want to examine and look at the distribution of the data in all these three groups and to check whether it is normally distributed or not and whether there is a skewness or not in any of these groups. And as I mentioned before, there are several different ways to do that, either through plotting the histogram or QQ plot or the box plot or uh, through calculation in which SPSS calculate the skewness value and determine the value and from that value to determine whether there is a skewness or not in your data. So we'll do the first one which is plotting a graph of histogram. If we click in graphs and uh, legacy dialog, scroll down to the histogram, click on histogram, reset this and again we have here the ID and the three groups A, B, C. I'm going to move the group A to variable and then I'm going to tick this box which is saying display normal curve and then I'm going to hit the button for OK. Again, if we look here, we can see that SBSS has generated a, a histogram and uh, a curve on it and as I can see this fairly normally distributed data in gro group A. Now we co go back again and do the same thing for group B and if we here come here to look at the, uh, this, the, this histogram in group B as we can see the data are clustered into the left side and the curve here is not normally pill shaped pill curved but however it's more skewed toward the positive sign so this is a positively skewed data now if we go again and do the histogram for the final group which group C and click OK again here for group C we can see that all the data are clustered into the right hand side and the curve is not bell shaped however it's tailed toward the negative signs so this one is a negatively skewed data so we have here a normally fairly normal distributed data with a bell shaped normal curve here a skewed data uh, that are positively skewed and here a negatively skewed data so this is the first way of looking at your data and exploring them through plotting histogram and looking at the distribution whether they are normally distributed or positively or negatively skewed another way is we can really go through uh, a chart build then and uh, go for box plot select on reset this box plot and select this one here and then we repeat the same thing again for group a and if we move group a, a to here and then click ok the sbss will generate a box plot again as we can see from this 
box plot the two whiskers are normally are nearly fairly equal and uh, so that's indicate these data are normally distributed in graph in date in group a now if you go back again and do the same for group b again and we as we can see here group b is really a little bit deviated from normal distribution as the one of the whiskers this whiskers is longer than the smaller or uh, one so the the data are not normally distributed and again if we go back again and do it for the final group we will also get another uh, box sorry that's uh, the same group we need to do it again for group c group c we we'll move group c here and then click ok as i can as we can see here now the two whisker are whiskers are not equal so that indicates that these data are not normally distributed and they are skewed so data in group c are skewed and data in group b are skewed the third way is to look at the distribution through plotting qq graph and i've had a video on that describing how to do that if we go through click on analyze and then click on descriptive scroll down to ppq and then going to on the left hand side to, to move all the three groups into the variable group a and group b and group c and then hit the button for ok spss will generate a few tables and then it will draw the normal q, uh, q, q plot or the quartile plot again for gro group a we can see it's fairly fairly normally distributed for gro group b as again it is uh, curvy shaped uh, compared to the diagonal and in group c is again carefully shaved also and it is not normally distributed uh, the final way is through calculating the skewness and to calculate the skewness of the data we have three different options either through frequencies descriptive or explore so we click on analyze descriptive data and then we will choose the choose the first one which is frequencies so what i'm going to do i'm going to move all these three groups into the variable box uh, i'm not i'm not going to untake this because uh, this will give me a frequency tables for all the uh, for all the the, the, the data so uh, i'm going to untick it and then for statistics i'm going to select choose here the medi mean and the median and the mood and also in the distribution take the uh, square uh, square or the icon for skewness and we could also uh, take on description standard deviation and standard error of the mean if we would like then click on continue on the chart we're going also to get histogram with showing normal curve in it and hit the button for continue in the format we are going to leave everything as it is and in the style we are not going to change anything and if we click the button for ok again SPSS in the frequency options will generate a table for group A and P and C do some statistics and it will calculate the mean the median and the mode for all the three groups and um, if you follow the the description and the powerpoint i have made you will really that will make sense when we look at the mean and the mode and the median again the spss also generate a skewness value for all the three groups for group a the skewness is 0.049 which is really fairly close to the zero it's not further away from the zero it's 0.05 so this fairly can indicate that these data are normally nearly normally distributed however group b and c as you can see it's 1.3 positive 1.3 so is positively skewed 
and group C is minus 3.117 which means negatively skewed again SPSS generated the skewing skewness value for each of these groups and again if we want to do the scoreness uh, z-score for all the through group we can really uh, work it out as we have said is dividing the skewness on the standard error of the skewness and then getting the z-score and then comparing the values again the frequency options will also give you the normal distribution of the curves uh, normal distribution and curves for each group group a as you can see here is normally distributed fairly group b is skewed and group c again it's skewed now this is one of the option again if we click and analyze and click on descriptive and then now choose the option for descriptive reset this i'm going to move all the three groups into the variable box and then in the options i am going to select, select standard deviation we don't need maximum and minimum standard error and you need to click on the skewness options here icon for distribution and then hit the button for continue for style we keep it as it is and then we click on ok again the spss will generate a descriptive table here for group a b c and seeing that there are 100 uh, items in each group or score let's give you the mean for each one of them and the standard deviation and it's worked out the skewness and the standard error of the skewness for group a is 0.04 and for group b is 1.3 and for group c is minus 3.1 the final way also to look and check for uh, calculate and explore uh, your uh, data is to choose the options from analyze descriptive statics explore one so if we receive this and then we're going to move these three groups move them into the dependent list click on statistics don't think we are going to change anything here just we keep it as it is and the plot we're going to untake this we don't need this tame and lift we're going to take on the histogram and then normality plot with test click continue in the option section we're not going to change anything here in the display we're going to have both statistics and plot hit the button for ok spss will generate a few tables and a few charts here we can see the cases summary for A, B, C as 100 scores in each group. Again, in, exp uh, in uh, uh, option of uh, explore in uh, analyze, uh, the table is generated for group A and B and C. The mean is calculated, the median, and uh, the skewness with its standard error for each group. And again, it is similar to, uh, to other options in SPSS. And if we just hit here quickly, if uh, we, you are familiar with the uh, test of normality, uh, again, I uh, have already described these two tests, uh, Shapiro Willick and uh, Kolomogorov, Simon Rov, in a separate video. The group A, it shows that it's normally distributed, and B and C, it's not. The SPS also generated histogram for all the three groups a histogram a qq plot and also a box plot so in this uh, histogram uh, again it's fairly distributed and if we want we can really click click on the double click on the graph and then go to elements insert a curve and then we have now a normal distributed curve above this uh, histogram and uh, again we can see from the q q plot that uh, it's nearly normally distributed and from the box plot the data or the whiskers are nearly similar and the same thing for b and group c so in this way i had shown you several different ways of how to explore your data and to determine visually whether they are normally distributed or not visually and through calculation statistically visually through drawing uh, uh, a chart for histogram a qq plot 
and the box plot and through calculation SBSS will calculate the skewness value for each group you have.